Hello, welcome to Camaro Moz Channel. Hope you're having a great day. This program, we're going to switch out the switch. Switch out the switch. If you're having trouble with your Cadillac, if you put your Cadillac in park and it's still showing up there on the screen, not in park, then you have a problem with this part right here. It's this little switch right here. I've got other videos up. One of them shows how to take the console completely apart. Shows you step by step how to take everything apart. You need to get to this part right here. So in this video, we're going to actually change the change the switch out you're going to pop this cover apart and we're going to take one of these switches here we're actually going to change the switch out we'll get the camera over here closer and we'll start taking this apart okay on this thing here you got these little tabs here and I'm trying not to break them off you got several of them on here there's one here. I don't really have any use for this right now, but I'm going to go ahead and rebuild it. Means I have all the parts I need. Okay, here's your bolt holes. I'm starting up here at the top. I got that one popped. Popped loose. I'm getting this in here popped loose just kind of stick a screwdriver in between it pop that one loose you may have to use two or three screwdrivers just kind of open it up now go around here on the bottom side Yeah, I think we got it. Okay, there it is. Pull the cover off. And rest the switch that's right here by this white piece. Screwdriver will go down in between it. Fits down in there pretty good. Okay, now we have it out. This switch right here. Well, I was going to check this switch right here with the meter. And this is. This one's having fits, it's not working right, and then I got another meter that's dead, so I'm gonna have to get my meters going. Switch right there has three contacts on it. So one is probably normally open and the other one's normally closed. Your center conductor is in the middle. You can put it in the exact same way. Use the middle one for the blue wire. And this back one here. See the back wire is not sure if that's pink or it's probably pink. I have to look at the schematic here. Yep, it's pink and white. Okay, we want blue wire in the middle. Pink and white wire on the edge out here. This is your. Okay, the blue wire goes in the middle. And pink and white wire will go right, right on this end right here where the where the hinge part of the switch is. And that would be 
When it's pushed down, it would be normally closed. So that's what you want. When it's pushed down, that means it's in part. Okay, I took the, the heat shrink right here, and I just pulled it down. I was going to cut it, but it just slips right on down. It makes it easier that way. I started I started to cut that and then realized that was it would just slide right on down so that'll make the install a lot better that way we can just resolder them and just slide slide it back down onto it get my soldering iron going the last script to hold it here with see I'm gonna be pulling back on these wires here Pink ones are. Blue one goes in the middle. Okay, now this switch is loose. Put that one to the side. Okay, remember how it goes? We got. Blue goes in the middle, pink goes to the outside. Flip this over like that. We'll connect that blue one in the middle. Okay, we're gonna hit that blue one in the middle there. Can't get that centered up here. Yeah, that's a good connection. Get that pink wire out there on the end. I put solder on these connectors down here on the switch, and there's also solder on the wires themselves. So all you gotta do now is just heat them up. Heat them up and then touch it. Okay, it's gonna hold. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at that real close. Make sure I got it good. Okay, it looks good. Move the heat shrink back up on it. Now we'll start reassembling this thing. Yeah, there's a side shot of the switch that came out of it. That's the old one. See, it's only got two connectors on this one. Okay, while I have this apart, I want to show you this right here. This is the this is the actuator or the solenoid that locks your shifter in place. It plugs in right here. It'll lock it in place where you can't move it. Okay, now the switch goes right back into where it was. Just bend them wires back. Set it right inside there. That's a pretty tight fit. Okay, on the switch here. If you got three connectors on this on your switch here, looks like I'm gonna have to break off the this tab right here. This tab right here. The way that switch is wanting to lay in there. Gonna have to break that one off of there. So it'll lay in there real nice.
There was a tab sticking up right there. There was a tab sticking up right in here. But I couldn't get that switch to lay down flat. That's all there is to that. So now I need to put this back in there. Fell out. Now we can start snapping this all together. Okay, there's your there's your shift to park switch right there. New switch, good to go. So yeah, we're gonna plug in this thing here. That was your solenoid that was in there. So this is this one's been repaired. It's ready to go now. So if you got any questions, put them down below in the in the comments, and then Okay, on the shifter I've got other videos that you can see how to put all this back together but you just stick this flat piece on the side here and this piece goes flip it around here You can see how this piece comes back see when you you push in on your shifter it pushes this down it pushes this piece down and then you stick it in part and then that pushes pushes that back up and that's what hits the switch right here that puts you in part so I hope I made this clear that everybody can understand it. See when you push on your up here on your push it to pull it in and pull it out. When you push it in and put it in drive or neutral or park, you're pushing down on this pin right here. And then that will come up. It'll push onto that to stick it in part. Okay, and that's going to conclude this video. Like I say, if you have any questions, just ask them down below. And I'll see if I can answer them. But this will help solve your problem on your not in part on your Cadillac. And just get you. Oh, I didn't show you the, I didn't show you the numbers. I, I did that on my last video. I've got, this will be the third video on this. That's the numbers for this switch right here. If that's not clear enough, you can see my other video. But that was a switch we just put in. So that's going to do it on this one, so thanks for watching.